Hey guys, welcome to the Fight Age channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close, thanks for supporting me, guys. Former champion of two UFC divisions Daniel Cormier shared his opinion on a possible duel between the current holder of the title in the heavyweight category John Jones and WBC world heavyweight champion Tyson Fury. For the record, Tyson Fury has no chance against John Jones in a full-fledged MMA fight. I don't want to offend Fury with this. Of course, if they put on boxing gloves and enter the ring, then Tyson will beat John every day of the week. If, however, the fighters meet in a cage sometime, then Fury will have as much chance of winning as any guy who comes into the store at the end of our block. Therefore, there is no doubt that there will be no fight. It's not even that he will be knocked out. Tyson Fury is the best boxer in the world. But the best boxer in the world has almost no chance in a fight with an elite mixed martial arts fighter. It's crazy, Carmia said. WBC heavyweight title holder Tyson Fury has confirmed his interest in a fight with undefeated Australian Dempsey Makin. According to Fury, this fight, which presumably can take place in Australia at the end of the summer, will be a good preparation for him. According to Fury, this fight, which presumably can take place in Australia at the end of the summer, will be a good preparation for him. The other day I meet with Dempsey Makin's manager. He seems like a good guy. Yes, Makin says he is a top 10 heavyweight. And I think that he is definitely one of the main candidates for the fight. An undefeated boxer with a height of 200 cm, left-handed. It's going to be a great preparation, Fury said. It seems that the world heavyweight champion Tyson Fury still intends to hold his next fight in Australia. According to British journalist Michael Benson, the Gypsy King is negotiating a duel with the current IBF title holder in the first heavyweight, Jay Apitaya, representing the Green Continent. Jay Apitaya's manager Mick Francis said that negotiations are underway for Tyson Fury's fight against his fighter this summer in Australia. In this fight, the WBC World Heavyweight Champion will defend his title against the IBF champion in the first heavyweight division. Benson wrote. Malik Scott, the trainer of former World Heavyweight Champion Dante Wilder, criticized at WBC title holder Tyson Fury for unpredictability during negotiations with other fighters. With Tyson Fury, you can't count on anything until it's over. Even when the contract has already been signed, only after it was over. Everything is presented as if there is a reason for everything. What was the reason for the breakdown of the fight? Why didn't this fight take place? What was the reason with Andy Ruiz? I don't care what the reason is, but there is just always something going on. Scott said. The heavyweight star Dante Wilder in an interview with the mandatory challenger for the WBC title in the second middleweight division David Benavides expressed the opinion that the absolute world champion at 168 pounds, Saul Alvarez, will try to avoid a fight with him. Wilder. Keep going, what are you doing? You are a monster. What do you think about the lifting to light heavyweight? Benavides answered. I want to fight Canelo. I will stay in the second middleweight division for three more fights, and then I will rise. Wilder answered, I don't think he will fight you, but we will see. I like watching David. He has great power and is not afraid to use it. In boxing, we want to see a knockouts, and this guy makes them out. You expect admiration from a knockout. I think he should get up. Benavides has a great chance to dominate the next weight class. Wilder said. Recall that Joseph Parker successfully returned to the ring on May 24th at Margaret Court Arena in Melbourne, Australia, after an early defeat to Britain Jojois. Parker knocked out Australian Wega Pera in the first round. WBC heavyweight world champion Tyson Fury has said he will never enter the ring against former WBO title holder Joseph Parker. However, the haters of the Gypsy King should not rush to accuse him of trying to avoid another rival. In fact, Fury doesn't want to fight the New Zealand boxer because of their friendly relationship. Definitely, I will not fight with Parker. 
No, I would rather give him the bell than fight with him for it. We are too close for this fight. In addition, there are many other heavyweights, and I don't want to be beaten. Fury said. Cuban heavyweight prospect Frank Sanchez turned to the WBC world champion in his weight, Britain Tyson Fury. Sanchez accuses Fury of rarely defending the title. Tyson is a great fighter, no question, but lately he has been talking more than fighting. It sits on the belt. Tyson has become fat and lazy, which is not good for a champion. Now he talks more than he fights. Shut up and defend your title. He says he can't find an opponent, but I am ready to meet him at any moment. I believe I am the best heavyweight in the world. All I need is a chance to prove it. Tyson fights once a year. This is a bet for any contender who is in line for a title fight, Sanchez said. Former heavyweight contender Dillian White continues to demand a rematch with Anthony Joshua, a former two-time world champion. In 2015, the later won by knockout in the seventh round of their fight. It was supposed that Joshua and White would clash in England in the summer, but now it seems that Joshua will sit exactly until the end of the year. An occasion kills sport. It needs to be shaken. I'm waiting for my next fight. And I had to fight Joshua after Franklin. AJ and the team told everyone that the winner of the White and Franklin fight will fight AJ. And then boxed with the loser. I want a fight. I know that Dazn also wanted this fight because it will be a huge event. The only problem we all have is Joshua. He has confidence issues and he is afraid to fight. Dylan White said. In his opinion, Joshua and his team are trying to avoid any dangerous scenario that could disrupt a possible lucrative fight with ex-WBC champion Dante Wilder in December. He doesn't want to risk his pension in Saudi Arabia against Wilder, whose expiration date has also expired. Tears the Briton, who lost two of the last four fights by knockout. These people are spinless. There is a long list of opponents I can find next time. And the deadline for Joshua to find a pen and sign a contract is coming soon. Dylan White stated that Joshua is no longer a golden goose and uh, the sport does not revolve around him. He and his people doesn't seem to realize it, but they are dodging me again. And Wilder will fly in the summer after which AJ is finished, White predict. Ex heavyweight world champion Anthony Joshua seems to be against a rematch with Dillian White, who is being prepared for the summer by his promoter Eddie Hearn. Allegedly, he is no longer interested in this because eight years have passed since his victory over White in the seventh round, like wasting up the affairs of the past. But it doesn't exclude anything. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.